the government's budget for HIV and AIDS, of that, only 1% is being spent on preventative measures. Is the Terence Higgins Trust pushing to get more spent on preventative measures? Is this something that we need to concentrate more on as a society? I mean, from our viewpoint, we need continued, sustained investment in prevention. Stopping somebody becoming infected with HIV in the long term, it keeps them fit and well, contributing to society and working, saves money in the long term. And with all the change we've got happening in the NHS at the moment, all the health and social care changes, it's actually making sure the money is there to do prevention work. But the key thing is the money's got to be there and sustained investment to make sure that we have an impact. Are, are you afraid that maybe treatments and funding might get lost in this reorganisation? We do know there's going to be many changes happening in the next few years. And it's making sure that HIV services are prepared and are moving forward and looking at different options around HIV care as well. Does it always need to be delivered by a hospital or can we do it in a community setting? Through to actually looking at self-care and how people can use uh, websites like My HIV to actually do self-care and actually get support from peers as well. So it's a range of things. But at the heart of this, we do know that the many changes in funding costs are potentially affecting HIV services.